Welcome back to Fulton, and this is um, this is an interesting year. And in an effort to make things easier on you in the age of COVID-19, we have decided to make a few minor tweaks to the dress code that we think you will enjoy. So without any further ado, let's take a look at what that means. First of all, everywhere in the building, <clears throat> before school, after school, during school, if you are in the building, masks are mandatory. They're mandatory in the classroom, they're mandatory in the hallways, they're mandatory in the bathrooms. They are mandatory everywhere until you sit down somewhere to eat. And then as soon as you are finished eating, the mask goes back on again. Masks are now a dress code issue. So let's all be sure and wear our masks and let's wear them correctly. The rules for jeans have not changed. So if you are wearing jeans and you have holes in your jeans, obviously still holes at the knee or below the knee are allowed. If you have holes above the knee, they must be covered. And it is important to know that tape or tissue paper is not going to suffice. You need some clothing underneath your jeans, a pair of shorts, some leggings, something under your jeans to cover up any skin that might be showing in the holes that are above the knee. Khakis are still good, just like last time, but this year you can also wear sweatpants, and this is a change based on the Knox County Schools dress code. Knox County Schools does allow dress pants, and, or sweatpants, and so we are going to allow that as well. Uh, I might throw in here, uh, leggings are still uh, they need to be covered either with a skirt or shorts. Uh, you cannot wear leggings that are showing all the way to the waist. Shorts, skirts, dresses, whatever it is that you choose to wear other than pants uh, must be at or approaching the knee. This is a judgment call for your SLC administrator, so it's just better to go ahead and have them at or approaching the knees. Sagging, of course, is still never allowed. It's never allowed in the classroom. It's never allowed in the hallway. Um, and so please, please, please leave this at home. Uh, you're still not allowed to wear head coverings, ball caps, hoodies, um, anything that covers the head completely. Same as last year, that has not changed. However, a couple of new changes along the way. Shirts, jackets, sweaters, hoodies. The outer covering that you're wearing must be predominantly your SLC color. We're going to talk about what this means here uh, as we move forward, but they need to be predominantly your SLC cover. We've done away with the need for a collared shirt. Polos are no longer necessary. Button-down shirts with a collar are not necessary. It's one of the reasons why I'm making this video in a t-shirt. It's not necessary. Um, any clothing that you do wear, shirts, pants, whatever, um, no drug references, no gang references, no profanity, uh, all those kinds of things have not changed. Please read the Knox County Schools dress code policy. We will make sure that you have a link to that available, but read that very carefully to know what is and is not allowed with relation to anything that you have printed on your clothing. Uh, a change that we're making is that any hoodie that is in your SLC color or predominantly your SLC color is okay. It does not have to be a Fulton family hoodie. So white hoodies for the health science, black hoodies for full calm, etc, etc, etc. The hood cannot be worn during school hours, so please just help us out. Leave the hood off in the hallways. Leave it off in the classroom. Do not make this an issue. You don't have to have it on. We have the place air conditioned and heated. If you're going to wear a shirt, and it could just be a t-shirt, um, it needs to be predominantly your SLC color. So a black t-shirt is fine. Any shirt that you wear, whether it's a t-shirt, hoodie, uh, polo, button-down, whatever, it does have to have sleeves. Um, 
So no tank tops for the guys, girls, no sleeveless blouses. Even if you're going to cover it up with a hoodie or a jacket, it's still not allowed. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So obviously different SLCs have different colors available from black to maroon to gray to blue. Anything that is predominantly blue or predominantly maroon or predominantly gray will work. Obviously white and black, those are pretty cut and dried, but predominantly white, predominantly black. Okay, and now I can tell your eyes are about to glaze over. So let me throw this in here. This is important. It's really, really important. So everybody, wake up, pay attention. We think that it is necessary that you wear your SLC color shirt, regardless of whether you're going to wear a sweater or a hoodie or a coat over it. You should have an SLC colored shirt on. And the reason for that is simple. If I'm wearing a white jacket and I walk into class and suddenly I get hot and I pull my jacket off and my shirt is blue, but I'm a health science student, I'm now out of dress code. Your outer covering, no matter what that outer covering, has to be in dress code. If you remove a layer, the layer under it has to be in dress code. So if I'm wearing a coat over a hoodie, over a shirt, my coat, my hoodie, my shirt should all be my SLC color. No exceptions, because if I pull off an outer layer, the next outer layer has got to be my SLC color. Got it? So if you're wearing a black t-shirt and it has writing on it, it's not a big deal. Um, this has been a question in the past because our dress code called for a two inch logo, nothing bigger than a two inch logo. We've thrown that out the window. So you can have a shirt with writing on it. You can have a shirt with big writing on it. Just be careful of what the writing says. Uh, you can also support your favorite athletic team, whether that's college, professional, high school, as long as the predominant color of the shirt is predominantly your SLC color. So obviously this, would, this particular shirt would only work for Skill Pro because it is, because it is predominantly gray. Um, you can also have other kinds of logos if you need to um, or want to. Uh, those are not uh, going to be questioned as long as there are no drug references, no gang references, no profanity, nothing that is questionable according to the Knox County Schools dress code policy. Um, so you can wear t-shirts uh, or hoodies with designs on them and that is no longer an issue. In all areas of questionable attire, in all areas of questionable attire, the decision of your SLC administrator will be final. We are not going to argue about dress code. We're just not. Um, so, if you have questions about the changes that we're making, please be sure and email your SLC administrator don't bother coming by the office. We're trying to social distance. Send an email, ask your question. We will get back to you. And if we need to, we will address the entire SLC or even the entire student body to make sure that everybody knows the answer to particular questions. I hope you enjoy your year. Be safe, wear your mask, socially distance where possible. Welcome back to Fulton.